ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Paige Campbell Show, episode 47. Nice. Yes. We're here, folks. I know everyone thought we were done. Christmas <laughs> popped up out of nowhere, and everyone was saying, where's Noah? Yeah. It was Christmas, but where's Noah? Yeah. He hasn't been on the last two. I guess Noah's I should, here. Should I, should I save face and tell the story? That uh, It's a good story. I think you should tell yeah, it. I've already told you, so it's not going to be uh, But it's not. Yeah. It's fine. Organic reaction. For the listeners. I checked... Uh, my YouTube account the other day, seventeen uh, subscribers. Nice. I thought I was at like four. So seventeen is a pretty solid number. I guess there's some people listening. We're getting out there. Probably a few. The Halloween getting, was at like the word out. fifty listens, maybe. That's pretty good. So there's some there's some people. We always diminish it. Yeah. Um, but there's some there's some people. Halloween was the last episode I was on. You were on, and, and it's 2017. <laughs> we tried to get you. It's a new year. It is 2017. Do you have any resolutions? Nah. <laughs> You're Not kind really. of. I usually don't. There's my boy Shawn Michaels. Nice. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm watching wrestling He's as handsome. we're recording this because Shawn Michaels is returning <laughs> tonight. I know that probably doesn't mean anything to most of you, but yeah, doesn't really mean anything to me. Yeah, I know. To be honest, <laughs> he's one of the greats, Shawn Michaels. Um, but. I'm not usually a resolution guy. Yeah. You're kind of looking at my resolution. I think I released like four episodes last year. <laughs> Something uh, small. I'm trying to pod more in 2017. That's a good re- resolution. I, I usually, like, I, I don't make, like, New Year's resolutions because I always either mess up the very first. Because I'm like... Yeah, I've always thought the New Year's resolution was kind of a weird, um, kind of a weird notion where yeah. it's just like... Okay, you can stop being a shitty person any time <laughs> any of the time. year. It doesn't have to be what January I do. 1st. Like, I'll resolve to be a better me, like, yeah. in, like, December or in, like, July. Right. It doesn't have to be January 1st all the time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it can, it can, be, it can be any time of the year, but yeah. trying to pod more. We'll see if it actually happens. It's pretty good. I might release five this year instead of four. Yeah. So... I feel like I should I should read more maybe. Yeah, you don't read enough. I don't know. Exercise more. <laughs> Pretty general. You got a lot of uh, resolutions. Demonic possessions in your life. Yeah, I should. You got to exercise a lot of friends a little and more. family members. I need to exercise. Exercise is the big this one. Year. That's like everyone. That's I think that's the everyone most I know that's one. a hunk. Everyone I know that's in shape. They say January first, the gym is pretty crowded. Yeah, yeah that's what they say. And by January eighth. <laughs> Not the it's case. empty. Yeah, not the case. Completely empty. I don't know. But yeah, uh, this is kind of my New Year's resolution. We'll see what happens. Hopefully it uh, works out. So far, this is a good episode. This is one of the greats so far. Yeah. <laughs> it's one. Of, it's up there. Yeah. It's in the top 10. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, top 10 of 40. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, save face. Um, you weren't on the Christmas episode. I wasn't. We tried to get um, you on. It's fine that you weren't. It was a last minute thing. I was planning on being there. Yeah. And uh, it was going to be a great episode. It's going to be one of the best. It was episodes. it was a great episode. It was it was still pretty good. It was just Sans Noah. Could have been better. Yeah. <laughs> it was Sans me. It was missing a little a little. It was missing no. Uh, missing missing no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, missing no. Okay. It's a deep cut. Missing no. It's a stretch. Wow. Anyways. Uh so yeah, I was um I think it was I guess it was that same day. Um, I was picking up my younger sister from basketball practice. Okay. And uh, in the parking lot, I scraped another vehicle. Okay. Who I think was one of the players, like, sisters. Sure. And I've scraped cars before. Yeah, we all have. We've uh, all been there. <laughs> the thing I've never is, scraped a car, but I've hit a mailbox. This was, like, this was probably my third or fourth uh, incident. Okay. Um. And they're pretty much the, the thing is like I'm not a bad driver. They've all been like parked cars. <laughs> it's a likely story. Well, they've well, well they've all been like parked cars or still moving object or okay. not not moving objects. Sure. Um, not moving anymore. Yeah. Because because I hit them with my car. to oblivion. Yeah. Well. <laughs> anyways, <laughs> it wasn't a big deal because I was driving like a kind of crappy truck. Sure. So the truck, you know, was the truck was all right, but like. Right. I felt really bad for the other person's car. I scraped their bumper. Not too bad. I wasn't that, you know, wasn't that in there. Maybe a chip of paint here or yeah. there, but nothing. So I get out and like... Cosmetic damage. That's yeah. It. Yeah, that's, that's all it was. There was no dents. It was just a little little minor scrape. Yeah. 
And uh, I get out. The girl gets out. We exchange phone numbers. And I'm like, I think we should, like, exchange insurance or something. Right, yeah. Do you have insurance? Because, like, I've, I've been here before. I know that's, that's what you're supposed to do. And she's like, she goes, no, I'm just going to show my dad and see what he thinks. Give me and your, you said she's, like, 25. Give me your number. I'm pretty sure. I don't really know. I think she's, like, out but of, she's not out a of college. Yeah. She's, she's not, not younger than me. Okay. And I'm 20. You're at 20, this point, yeah. At this point in the story. So I think I'm just going to show my dad. <laughs> An adult person. An adult yeah. human. So, and this was what, like two days before Christmas, maybe? Yeah. Two, three Christmas. days before Christmas. Yeah. So I felt really bad because, like, yeah, it's sure. the holidays. I've scraped this person's car. Yeah. They didn't see me coming. I just like, scraped them just behind scraped them. It, yeah. And uh, so uh, I get a call like two days later. I think it was the Friday before Christmas. Okay, sure. Christmas was on a Sunday. That adds up, yeah. So Cause the, we, wait, because we, we recorded the Friday before Christmas. Did you? I think so. Then it might have been Christmas Eve when I got the phone call. Okay, yeah, we didn't record on Christmas Eve. Because, um, yeah, it might have been Christmas Eve. I don't know. Um, I got a phone call from her dad. Okay. Um, I was on edge, like, with my phone. I was like, I got, I'm expecting a something from them, and right, I get yeah. a phone That's call. That's the worst like, when you're expecting a phone call. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, just <laughs> yeah. sitting, like, waiting. Like, <laughs> you don't want to do anything. Well, they waited, like, a whole, like, day. Like, and the phone was... won't ring until you start doing something. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's just the nature of... Exactly. You know? I think we had actually... We were out doing something, and I got the phone call. Yeah. So, uh, I get this call. A no number. I'm like, I should answer it. It's probably the person who I hit earlier. <laughs> I'm sure, yeah. Uh, Are you getting other phone calls on a regular basis? Yeah, not really. <laughs> not really, yes. No, not unknown phone calls. It's most me. mostly just DMs. Yeah, People it's sliding, into, sliding the, into my DMs. Sliding into your dungeon master. Hitting me up <laughs> about, uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> so I get a phone call, and and it's her dad. Her dad calls me uh-huh. and basically says... Like, I heard you scraped my daughter's car, mm-hmm. explain to me what happened, <laughs> and and he goes, did you learn a lesson out of this? Yeah. He basically goes, what did you learn from all this? And I was like, like, initially I was just like, uh, I mean, yeah, like, I've been here, with like, like, I learned to not, <laughs> Yeah, know, scrape I learned cars to not st- scrape cars. But then after I That's was the like. the worst when someone wants you to learn a lesson from something and there's like no lesson that you can glean. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's it wasn't like, like a, a life lesson. I learned there. to not do that. Yeah. Like it was like an accident. Like yeah. whatever. <laughs> like I didn't do it on purpose. Yeah. Yeah. But then I was like, does this guy think I'm like 14? Yeah. He thinks you're a tot. Like does he think I'm a. I'm it's a like boy? he realizes you get your license at 16. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm not. <laughs> like, like I'm a. Like I'm an, I'm an, an adult man. Yeah. Telling some girl's father. That I learned a lesson out yeah. of something. So he asks to speak to my father. Okay. Uh, it was my dad's truck. So I was like, yeah, I'll put my dad on. Sure. Let me talk to him. Up. Yeah. And he tells my dad that he wants to make sure that I was punished, basically. <laughs> like, Thank God. Like, at this point in my life, I don't think I need to be punished by somebody else's dad. I mean, at this point in, like, like once you're, like, 20, unless you do something like l- l- legally wrong yeah you don't really get punished yeah you know exactly. what i mean it's That's what like, it's like like i don't know. I steal something or like hurt someone <laughs> where this guy learned his parenting skills but it was very weird it's very odd to say in the least and uh long story short i didn't really end up owing any money uh, which was a relief that is a relief yeah and a christmas miracle if i could it say is. so oh, myself it certainly is a christmas miracle. uh i paid miracle on apple orchard street yeah, exactly <laughs> Told, he told my my dad to tell me to give his daughter 10 bucks for paint or something like that. Now, this seems like, here's the thing. A, you're not going to find car paint for $10. Yeah, that's, like, that's pretty expensive. I don't know what financial reality this man's living in, I, <laughs> but that's not. Car paint's pretty expensive. It's expensive, yeah. Even a little bit. Yeah. Um, computer ink is more expensive than 10 bucks. Yeah, that's Last true. Time I the computer is like $20. $20 it's like $20. It's rid- ridiculous. Depending on the, the digit that you need. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like... I-
<laughs> that's not a real yeah situation and i'm sure you know in her reality any damage to a car costs ten dollars because this was a, clearly her first accident yeah um but yeah basically uh you know, it was my parents' car, and they didn't want me driving it that same night after That's I hit fair. somebody, so I couldn't... I get that. Couldn't make it to the pod. Yeah, and uh, also, full disclosure, we were going to do a call-in. That's true, yeah. I was like, I told him, sucks, you can't make it. Couldn't drive, but I could still... We'll do a call-in. But then Winston, listen to the Christmas episode, Winston Hodges, everybody, got here pretty late, which is fine. He yeah. let me know he was going to get here late. He's traveling from, you know, far off. Yeah, from far off. Very far off. Um, So he said he, he was going to get here late. So we recorded the pod at like three. Yeah. So I was like, Noah's probably not awake. Probably not. Were you awake? Probably wasn't. Okay. Because I, was, I feel bad if you were Maybe awake. two, but not three. Yeah. We, we, we started at like Three's three. late. That's why near the end of the Christmas pod, Nick was like, guys, it's pretty late. <laughs> Done. at what point is it is it late and at what point is it early you know what i mean that's a good point like people are like oh you woke me up in the middle of the night it's like i woke you up at three <laughs> yeah, i woke like you up i woke you up early yeah <laughs> i didn't wake you up late early night. to rise early to rise <laughs> early to bed yeah i think it's like why don't you get up to see that sunrise <laughs> yeah exactly quit sleeping in because technically night's over at eleven fifty nine. <laughs> yeah you know what i mean yeah that's true it's the end of the night yeah so but yeah i think i'm glad you're here now yeah i'm glad i'm glad as well you look good we got a game coming up with you later it's gonna be nice it's gonna be good the long long anticipated unannounced it's unannounced it's, it's a new segment but long anticipated they yeah it's people it. have been anticipating they didn't even know they wanted <laughs> they didn't it. didn't even know they wanted it but they're gonna get it it's gonna be good <laughs> yeah it's gonna be great um you got a nice haircut i did get a haircut we were talking before you said uh you've got a barber now you've got a barber which is cool that seems like here's the thing i like i don't mind a haircut but i hate making small talk <laughs> yeah with the random person cutting your hair yeah it's cool so it seems nice that you're able to build a rapport and it's like a, it's like a local thing like I, i'm assuming this guy just like owns his his barber shop or whatever so it's not like i'm paying like like i think i was getting my hair cut at like jc penny's salon or something You're not giving into corporate or like greed. yeah exactly i don't yeah. not i'm not Support paying local business corporate <laughs> these corporate hair cutters you know taking over local barbers yeah destroying our economy <laughs> fantastic sam's yeah none of that fantastic sam's is the monsanto of <laughs> the hair cuttery the, the, the barber shop the world. barber they make all. They make the local guy commit barbicide. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's cool though. Uh, he's just this like one dude that has like a barber shop, and it's like really close to my house. That's nice. So in not, it's not. No, no, here. In, oh, in, here. It's okay. In old Stanton, Virginia. Nice. It's not far. I just go down the road, get my hair cut, and he does all this like cool stuff. He like uh, <laughs> straight razor cuts okay. around your hairline. And then yeah. it puts a hot towel around your face. Nice, super relaxing. That is nice. That's I like. I like a hot towel. Yeah, it's very nice. It's nice. I mean, within reason. I don't like a a scalding towel. Yeah, it's not scalding, but it's, <laughs> it's more of a warm, moist towel than anything. Yeah, warm and moist. I can get into. Yeah, I like. I like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's good. It. But so. You said you're not on a first name basis with this dude. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Like, like, but like you, you're you said, it's rapport. not. It's yeah, it's not awkward small talk that you would get with somebody you don't know. Because that's the worst. is the awkward small uh -huh, talk. Like, like, like that keeps me away. <laughs> like if you just you met me, this person, and if you like, catch me on the street and I'm looking shaggy, yeah. it's because I want to avoid the awkward small talk. Yeah, I've definitely you know had anxiety about haircuts. Cause I'm like, <laughs> so I don't know. If, I. I don't know who's gonna cut my hair. I yeah. don't know if they're gonna do a good job. Yeah. I don't know what we're gonna talk about. Yeah. That's the main worry. Exactly. Yeah. But this guy, like, I can guarantee he's going to ask me how school's going. <laughs> yeah. He knows you're at VCU. What I've been up to. Yeah. I don't even know if he knows I'm at VCU. Does he not? He doesn't know my first name. Oh, okay. But we have enough of a relationship at this point where it's not super awkward. That's what's weird is, like, when you build, like, a legitimate, like, friendship with someone at, like, a store and you're still not on a first name basis. <laughs> yeah. Does that ever happen where it's like, yeah. it's good to see you, but it's like. I was definitely like that, um. That happened to me when I started out at college. Like, I, there was a lot of people I would see, yeah, like that I lived with, like that I would see like daily. And uh, you know, as the year waned on, like 
I was just like, I don't know these people's names. Right. I guess we're friends. Yeah. But I can't ask them their names. Yeah. And the worst like, is when they know your name. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you just be like, hey, like Noah. And I'd be like, hey. Because like, like, yeah. when it's someone at a store, they're like, Noah. And it's like, <laughs> I know you only know my name because of my re- rewards card. Yeah. Yeah. But you're making me feel like an asshole yeah. for not. It's like, I have no idea who you are. For not knowing. What's in a name, though, you know? Yeah, names are pretty, uh, tell you what, names are pretty relative, I guess. I guess so. They're all. I mean, some people have the same name. <laughs> That's true. Like, some people do have the name. What kind of identity to, is that? I used to have a lot of, uh, when I was younger, I used to have a lot of anxiety about my name. It's a girl's name. Because it's a girl's name, yeah. <laughs> But uh, I guess when I got into comedy, I was like, well, it's unique, though. Yeah. And it's it, you got to have a name that lasts in people's minds. That's true. Because um, most people don't remember your name. For a while, I thought Noah was unique. But then, like, apparently it's the not. same year, my parents named me Noah. Every other person named their child Noah. Oh, really? It's becoming a pretty popular name. I wonder why. What happened in... Was there a celebrity or something? Because usually if you look at, like, so. which names are popular, there's, like, a name... There's a, there's like a reason. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like in in 96. I guess like everybody was like, oh, nobody else is using this name. It's unique. But and then everybody used it. So. Yeah, yeah. Everyone was like, I'm tired of all these. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of a 90s celebrity. <laughs> yeah. It's like I'm tired of all these. Uh, Brads. <laughs> yeah, Brads. I'm going to go too, too many Brads. There's like, there's people naming their kids like Khaleesi now. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. After it is ridiculous. Yeah, I think uh, there were like there was a. I, I read a list of like the most popular uh, children's names after Pokemon names. Oh my god! So it's like naming what? your kid after a fictional character, especially if the series isn't done, is the worst thing yeah, you can do. Yeah, because I, I'm into a lot of like nerdy stuff, but like you, you can't do it. Yeah, like, Game of Thrones isn't done. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like what if? What if it ends and Khaleesi's just a rapist? <laughs> and then there's a lot of people named... Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's like a plot it happened twist to, uh, and then... our principal, Mr. Bailey. Right. He named uh, he named his kid Atticus after after Atticus from Killing Mockingbird. Uh-huh. And then that new book came out and, like, Atticus is, like, a hardcore racist. <laughs> yeah. It's just, like... Now he Pretty just racist. To, now he just has to pretend. It's like, oh, that's a coincidence. <laughs> yeah. He's not named after it's Atticus. It's just a name. It's just a name I know. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was a good name. So what were the Pokemon ones? I can't remember. I could look up the list. Like, like Pikachu? They like, were, no, I mean, there was a couple that were like Probably pretty, Ashes. pretty decent, but... Um, you have to think Ash, right? Ash would be yeah. pretty co- cool. Like like normal names, like if I name my son Bruce after Bruce Wayne. After Bruce the Shark from... Uh, Bruce the Shark. Finding Nemo. If I named my son... Uh, Fisher Friends, not cr- food. Crush. Yeah, Crush. After the turtle <laughs> from Nemo. Uh, I always said that like if I was going to name my kid after something nerdy i was gonna give him the most ridiculous name possible yeah. like not bruce after bruce wayne i'm going batman yeah just straight up batman like, this kid is batman this is batman <laughs> gamble like my son batman if my uh if my name was aaron i would probably legally change my name to space museum yeah. <laughs> what do you nice what do you Aaron think space museum? yeah that's pretty good it's not bad uh evie i EV, can see yeah that's actually a name yeah that is a name uh gangar would Kind of be a cool name. <laughs> Gengar's a little over <laughs> to <long>. have. Um, <laughs> it really started after Pokemon Go came out. I'm seeing. Oh, it's like recent. Uh, yeah, like like people were like naming their kids. You know what I was thinking about Pokemon Go? Pokemon Go um kind of died recently. Yeah, like it was fun for like a week or two. But here's the thing: it's dead as a as a phenomenon, right? <laughs> Right. And there were people who, like, drowned and, like, got hit by cars and stuff because they were playing Pokemon Go. Yeah. Like, like you're just the dude that died because of a two-week <laughs> yeah. two thing. Yeah. This guy, like, his, like, yeah, that's, that's a, that sucks for him. Yeah. <laughs> like. It's weird when, um, it's weird when a name, like, becomes part of society because of a book or something. Yeah. Like, Khaleesi might just become a standard name. Even well, though it's a Game Wendy, of Thrones name. Wendy, yeah, yeah. I was going to say Wendy. That's That blows my mind. Like, I didn't know Wendy was... Wendy, uh, the dude, I don't know who wrote Peter Pan. Yeah. But the dude who made up Peter Pan made up the name Wendy. Yeah, like that name And so was... many people liked Peter Pan, they just named their daughters It's pretty cool. Like, it's a good, it's a good name. It yeah. seems like a normal name. And, Onyx uh, and would now, be a pretty cool... <laughs> Onyx would not be Like, a there's, cool like, name. a bratty kid in your 
son's great. I mean, if onyx. your name is Onyx and you're not a gym rat, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Just like, like with spiky hair. Yeah, yeah. Brock. I could see Brock because of Pokemon. Brock would be, yeah. yeah. Brock Obama. Brock. Yep. <laughs> Our own Bro- president. Brock Hussein Obama. Our own president. I was trying to think, uh, what do you think are the, what's one you hear nowadays on a regular basis? That like, do you think is probably because of media of some sort? Oh, um, you know what I mean. It's a good question. Yeah, there's got to be something. I was recently in a retro game shop. This is just a quick aside. I was recently in a retro game shop, and this dude uh, might have been on the spectrum a little bit, but he told me that he named his son Raiden after Mortal Kombat. It's kind of cool. It's not cool. <laughs> My middle name is Aiden. Aiden's fine, but Raiden. Yeah, Raiden. Like you named your kid after. <laughs> A guy who performs character. fatalities. <laughs> yeah. It's like, son, I named you after this guy <laughs> who pulls out spines. I think I met somebody that was named after Sonya Blade in in the uh, <laughs> Mortal Kombat games. <laughs> <laughs> Her name was Sonya, and we're like, we like jokingly said, "Are you named after Sonya Blade?" And she was like, "Yeah." She's like, "Yes, I am." I am. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, "Okay." I know a dude who named his son Luke for the pure reason that he could say, "Luke, I am your father." Nice. That's pretty... Which is... Yeah. I mean, that takes a lot. Yeah. Dedication. And I met him at church, so his wife is always like, yeah, Luke, it's a biblical name. (laughs) And he's like, it's not a biblical name. (laughs) Like, Like, he totally does not pretend. But yeah, I don't know. Names are weird. Yeah. Because names... I don't know. It's just a weird thing. You know what I mean? Like, names used to be after your occupation yeah yeah or like they're like not after your occupation anymore john son or jack son yeah that's or something true like that but like you ever hear like a like a oh, what's an example shoemaker shoemaker yeah or like or even like a, a where you lived like like old like most people in the renaissance mm. it's like their names were like like da vinci yeah oh that's or a good something point. yeah yeah um black blacksmith like smith i think is blacksmith is mm-hmm. short for blacksmith. Yeah, or any kind of... I guess like a, a smith, lot of smith out there. Makes, makes Can you imagine sense. if they still did that? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? My my dad would be uh, it's like Mortician. Th- Thomas. Yeah, th- Thomas. <laughs> Mark Mortician. <laughs> Thomas Pizza Boy. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, oh, okay. Uh, it's pretty cool, man. Yeah. That would make like... That would make like hitting on women impossible. Yeah. If your last name... It's like, ah, I'm, I'm John. <laughs> it's like, oh, John what? uh lawyer john lawyer <laughs> it's like no not not lawyer you're not a lawyer yeah i'm looking for a john doctor please <laughs> john doctor <laughs> <laughs> names are weird man yeah it is it, it is a weird uh it's a social construct it is that we've established it is a weird story. but i mean what what how would we address each other without names i guess we wouldn't yeah I mean, I'm sure we'd come up with something. We came yeah. up with names, so. Who, I mean, who did? I don't know. We didn't. They've been around. <laughs> the Paige Campbell Show. <laughs> They've been around for didn't, years. Didn't come up with As long guy. as I've known. <laughs> what would you name your kids? What would I name my kids? Yeah, what, what are you thinking? I don't know. It'd have to go well with my last name. I think, I mean, I think at this point I have to do Bruce, right? Bruce would be nice. Bruce Campbell. Bruce Campbell. I mean, come yeah, on. That would be. Because I'm a big Burn Notice fan. That's burn. why I would. You like Burn Notice? <laughs> I'm a huge Burn Notice fan. <laughs> no, burn Evil Dead, notice. folks. I do like uh, Bruce Campbell. I like the Evil Dead is why I would go Bruce. But I also... Or Ash. Yeah, Ash, Ash, Ash Campbell. Campbell. Cause the, uh, Ash Campbell. Because Ash is cool because... Ashley. Yeah. I don't get it. Why is his name Ashley in, that, in the Evil... Like, that's in what? In Evil Dead. And his name's Ashley. I mean, even uh, I've heard that. Dude, guys dudes name? have the name Ashley. I've I've heard, met a dude I've, heard, I've heard girls with the name Ryan. That's kind of really? yeah. That's kind of odd. I don't know about that. Some names, uh, I don't know. It doesn't work both ways. Yeah, I might have to do that since I'm since I'm a little self conscious about Paige. <laughs> I might have to like name my kid Jennifer or something. <laughs> like name my son Jennifer. Something super feminine. Yeah, it's just like oh, Paige. You think Paige is bad? Yeah, it's Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer nice. Campbell. Yeah, I think Bruce is for sure one I have to go with. That would work. I don't know what else. There's not really any other big Campbells. I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I can't Bruce Campbell's the biggest one, I would think. Yeah. There, there, no, there is, though. What's another famous Campbell? Soup. 
Yeah, soup. The soup. I might name him Soup Campbell. <laughs> so a boy named Soup. <laughs> well, <laughs> I might name my son Soup uh, Soup Campbell. So when he turns sixteen and gets his driver's license, it says Campbell Soup. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, it's worth it. The uh, the Soup comma Camp or uh, Campbell comma Soup. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Type thing. That's like Daniel, uh, our, our friend Daniel Royals. Shout out. He's been Shout on the show. Uh, it says Royal Daniel. Royal Daniel. Which is oh, Daniel, yeah. Or Royal, Royal Daniel. Daniel. Uh, Glenn Campbell, the singer. Oh, yeah, yeah. Might have to go Glenn and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Glenn and Bruce. Glenn and Bruce. Not too bad. Oh, you're looking up other Campbells? Who's the famous Clark? I don't know of any... Uh, um, Lo- <laughs> Lois <laughs> and the middle name Ann. <laughs> I could name my son Kent. <laughs> yeah, Kent, Kent Clark? Yeah. Because the, well, then that's the same thing with the... Uh, yeah, when he gets his license. With the license. It's Clark it's Kent. Go Clark Kent. I like that. You I'm should sure do there's, that. There's some famous Clarks. <laughs> there's got to be, right? It's, it's, I don't know. I guess it's a sort of common name. Clark? Yeah, it's pretty. I think it's pretty common. Yeah. Campbell's pretty common, too. Yeah. You know what's amazing about the name Campbell is how many... Because I, I feel like it's a common name. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a soup can. Right. For for Christ's sake, over right. here. You yeah. Know, you see it's gotta it on. Be, it's got to be common. You see it on a. It's soup a household can. name. If Definitely any, a household. If anything. <laughs> it's crazy to me how when I tell people my last name is Campbell, Paige I get. Yeah. Because I, there's a, there's with an I and without right. Right. So many people don't know how to spell Campbell. I've yeah I've noticed that. There's like how is that and I'm like, Camp Bell like <laughs> this is not it's, it seems like common knowledge to me. Yeah. A lot of people get the spelling of my last name wrong, um, mainly because I guess Clark is commonly spelled without the E at the end, and we spell it well, with weird the is, E at the end. I think of Clark without the E as a first name. Yeah. When I think Clark sense. is a last name, I'm like, that's got an E. Yeah, I mean, I, I can see that too. Yeah. There's an E on that Clark. <laughs> it's got to have the E. But yeah. No, like almost 10 times out of 10, people will not... Add the e. People ask. Oh, they just don't and add. They just it. don't add it. Like, like, That's the worst when people don't ask. Yeah. Like when I like. It's the worst when people don't ask when like I just get like a name tag that's P A G E. I'm just like, you gotta ask. Like, <laughs> they just brazenly go in yeah, spelling your like, name wrong. There's no I in there. This this is not an <laughs> I man. It's not worth asking. I it's know the it, worst when. I know how it's spelled. I went to a wedding one time and uh, like they they had name tags for everyone. Like they had. They had, it was assigned seating. Yeah. And so there were blue name tags for uh, for boys and pink name tags for girls. Right. And I had a pink name tag <laughs> and it said P-A-G-E. It's like, you really didn't <laughs> Jeez, try. dude. You didn't that's, try at all. Yeah, that's terrible. Like, that is... That's, not that's even, really off. <laughs> not even close. That's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. So, that's not, I don't know. Uh, Do you have a good New Year's? It was all right. My uh, did you do anything fun? No, not really. Um, we'll talk Christmas too, since you weren't on the Christmas show. Yeah, we had we had plans to go up to Maryland, um, with my brother's in laws. Yeah. Um, and so like that was pretty much the plan. Okay. Nice. And then like my entire family got sick, so we were like, yeah, let's not go to Maryland and get everyone else sick. Yeah. Them- <laughs> and then we stopped like halfway at my grandma's house. Because she needed some company. Yeah, and for sure. Like, she's family, so if we got her sick, <laughs> it wouldn't be that weird, I yeah. guess. I don't know. So she's close enough to know. death if we got <laughs> yeah. her sick. Uh, just a little nudge. Yeah, so we didn't really end up doing <laughs> much of anything for New Year's. Do you just, did you, did you stay up? I stayed up, yeah. Yeah. We did watched count, the ball drop. Count the ball. We watched the ball drop. Watched, we ate some, uh, some hors d'oeuvres. Yeah, yeah. Like we usually have. What hors d'oeuvres? List me some hors d'oeuvres. Oh, uh, we had. Uh, I just like this story because it's antithetical to like what everyone assumes you did on New Year's. You know <laughs> what I mean? Yeah. It's like oh, I went to my grandma's house and went to my grandma's house. We had some meatballs and weenies. Nice. Some uh, mozzarella sticks. Nice. Oh, dude, I love mozzarella. Sticks. Mozzarella sticks are nice, dude. Yeah. I like meatballs and weenies too. Meatballs and weenies are good. Don't get offended, anybody out there. Uh, freezer foods coming in clutch. <laughs> came through on the clutch i drank a lot of coffee for some reason i think it was like free coffee day at sheets you gotta stay up and uh that's true <laughs> and <laughs> remember <laughs> and like as a kid you were trying to like stay up just drinking a lot of coffee yeah you know what i mean yeah 
third grade New Year's. Yeah, right, right. Gotta chug that. I was thinking about this recently. There's like... It seems like kind of weird, like as a kid, there, like to you being older is being able to drink a beverage. <laughs> That's interesting, yeah. Does that make sense? So it's like when you're like... <laughs> when you're in a, like elementary school... You see your dad drinking coffee, you're just like, ah, that's what adults drink. <laughs> yeah. Adults drink coffee. Then you get in high school, you're like, you see like people drinking like alcohol, and you're yeah. like, now that's what adults <laughs> drink. Don't drink alcohol. I've really only got those two examples. Once, <laughs> once you're like an adult, you see people drinking uh, prune juice. Yeah, prune juice. It's like, yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's like, it's like ah, prune juice. That's what that's those what old like. those old timers drink. <laughs> Or, or, or there you like go. Some kind of you finished the bit for me because there it is. It's rule of threes for comedies. Yeah. If I have three <laughs> examples, I don't need to have another example. You don't need a fourth. Yeah. Then it becomes redundant. Because I love it when like you have three examples. It's like okay, this guy knows what he's talking about. <laughs> but like, if you think about it, it's like, oh, he doesn't have a fourth example. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like he had three he had and three. then quit. There was nothing left. Yeah. <laughs> nothing left to dig for. But you're right. Prune juice is the other one. I guess so. That's what old people drink. What Pretty else? Much. What's that? What's another old clamato juice? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. You don't know? It's cl- it's clam. It's clam and tomato juice. Oh, that's disgusting. It's really gross. <laughs> Apparently, uh, kids that think they're vampires drink it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Because they pretend it's blood. Uh, it's a lifestyle I wish upon nobody. And ironically, it probably tastes worse than blood. Probably does. I'm not saying blood tastes good. At least col- served cold. Blood? <laughs> no, Clamato juice. <laughs> Clamato. I feel like hot clams with like some tomato would tomato soup wouldn't be too bad as a dish. I could see that. As yeah, a meal. on a cold wintry day. But just juice, like clam juice. <laughs> it is. It's clam juice. It's and disgusting. Yeah, it's, it's it's horrendous. It'd be really bad cold. It'd also be really bad like room temperature. <laughs> yeah, just kind of warm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Luke warm. Left out. Luke warm Clamato. Heated and then left out. <laughs> on the counter clamato is what i'm gonna name my son clamato he's like clamato campbell cloister yeah cl- <laughs> there probably are some cloisters out there that's that's one of the worst <laughs> there, there are some kids out there because of cloisters i uh, yeah if you, folks if you don't know what cloister looks like <laughs> it's a suggestive google image suggestive looking pokemon yeah he is, he certainly is him and the sarlacc kids. <laughs> yeah yeah i like how they made cloister and they were just like yeah, he's a dude. Cloyster <laughs> is a male Pokemon. It's a male Pokemon. Are you sure about that, <laughs> Mister Iwata? It's pretty nice. Pretty nice Pokemon. Yeah, I like Cloyster. There's probably some Cloysters out there. Hunter, dude. Yeah, Hunter. I knew a kid named Hunter. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, Hunter. Hunter's a good. I thought you meant Hunter. Was like you knew Hunter. Him. Hunter would be. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> probably not the best name. There might be some like a uh, some red and blues out there. Red is because remember in the original game the kid's name is red and blue. Well, really, I thought it was red, and then in blue it's version, red in both versions. In blue version, his name is red. Is is it? That's what you're saying. No, I'm saying like I know in red version his name is red. <laughs> yeah, so I'm assuming in blue version his name because blue is an actual name. You hear people named blue. Red is a name. Red, red Foreman. Oh, that's true. <laughs> that's red Fox. That's seventy show. Red Skelton. Yeah, the red Red Fox as well. Who's Red Fox? Uh, he's he's uh the old dude in Sanford and Son. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Sure. He's Red Skeleton. I think he's an actor. Because I know the name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was more prepared than you on the... <laughs> it's like, he's the old dude. He's not Lamont. Yeah. <laughs> but he's... Yeah. It's a great show. Red is a cool name. I like Red. Blue is a cool name. Blue from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Yeah, and Blue was good and um... In old school. Blue's Clues. Oh, yeah. Blue. You're, you're my boy, Blue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Blue's Clues. Dude, Blue's Clues. Dude, as a kid, Blue's Clues was my shit. I really did enjoy Blue's I, Clues. Dude, I was full on. I had a Steve yeah. shirt. I, you know Steve the, Burns. You know the shirt he had that was- The uh, green stripes. I remember that shirt. Green with stripes. I had it. I had a I had a shirt with blue. And it looked like my mom just bought me it, and it, it coincided with my love for Blue's Clues. <laughs> It had a Blue's Clues tag. They were on really? top. They were on top That's of that merch. That's pretty sweet. I do remember you wearing that shirt. I don't. Remember, I wouldn't. I wouldn't blame you for not remembering my Blue's Clues shirt. What was it? I think on the first day of kindergarten, I wore a shirt that was just like a red shirt. <laughs> it's like you're offended that I don't remember. It's like <laughs> yeah. I wore it on the first should, day of kindergarten. You should, re- you should remember this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was the day we met. <laughs> you should remember what I was wearing. Okay. It was. Uh, it was just like a red shirt with a picture of blue on it. <laughs> okay. Sure. Pretty cool shirt. I remember it. Pretty cool. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> but I had the... Um, <laughs> I had the... Uh, Blue's Clues shirt, mm. the, the standard Steve shirt, yeah. and I had a notepad, like a Blue's Clues. Oh, yeah, I had one of those, too. Yeah, and I would walk around my house and try to find clues. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I think I wanted to dye my dog blue. <laughs> my mom wouldn't get in, get into that. But it could work. It could work. I like the shirt you're wearing right now. Oh, thank you. Bob's nice. Burgers shirt, folks. I like Bob's Burgers. I do, too. It's a good show. It's really good. I got this and a Rick and Morty shirt. Oh, for, really? Yeah, for Christmas. I like Rick and Morty. Dude, I love Rick and Morty. Waiting on that third season. Bring it out. Season <laughs> <Come> three. <on. laughs> we need it. But yeah, uh, what, were, what were we talking about before we got into Blue's Clues? Uh, the holidays. Were we talking about the holidays? At one point. You were asking me what I did over New Year's. Yeah. Yeah. Just a little recap. What'd you do over New Year's? Did you do anything? Yeah, I actually, um, uh, I hosted a comedy show. Oh, that's right. At a Holiday Inn in Blacksburg. Nice. And it was really fun because, um, so it was a holiday party and it cost like $70 to go to. Jeez. It was like a big, like, but I think it, it included like a meal buffet. Was it a paid gig? Uh, for Winston it was. I tagged along and got oh, time. Okay. Oh, okay. I tagged along and hosted it. Um, so I hosted it and, um. So it was like a seventy dollar ticket. I think it was like an expensive ticket. So it was like only old people there. Mm-hmm. Young people aren't afford affording yeah, this right. ticket. So you got some drink tickets. You got like a buffet, and you got a comedy show, right? So we did the comedy show at like eight. Finished at like nine thirty. I had a good hosting set, right? Good crowd. Good crowd. They actually wanted nice. jokes. Good crowd. Nice. I had a good hosting set. Um. Winston had a good set. Winston was the feature. He wasn't the headliner. Okay, yeah. So feature does like 20, you know, 25. Um, and then the headliner did not have the best of sets. So it was really funny because we were just hanging out in the lobby. We just like hung out. They gave us a room to like uh, crash in. So we were just hanging out in the lobby, just like talking or whatever. And like as the night got progressively, or I guess as the morning got progressively, yeah. <laughs> yeah. as it got like later and later, the old people got like drunk, like really, like like hammered, and they just kept coming up to me and Winston and being like, "I wish you guys did the whole show." <laughs> and we were like, "Oh, thank you. That's very That's nice." nice. <laughs> and it's like, "Yeah, you guys were great. I wish you did the whole show." Like, oh, it's very nice. So it was nice for the old ego. Yeah, uh, it's fun. I saw at the it was in Blacksburg. I saw Molly Ulrich. Small world. Small world. She was working there. Pretty, yeah, pretty kooky. Because yeah, I guess she goes to tech now. She does go to tech. She was at VCU. She was at VCU. She talked about you. Nice. Yeah, she was like, "Yeah, I miss Noah." That's good stuff. Yeah, that's good stuff. We we were hanging out. Yeah, she should go back to VCU. Oh, she she absolutely should. <laughs> I agree. That'd it's a good the, school. Be the right choice. Tech is a fine school. I mean, it depends on what you're trying to do. Like yeah. VCU is better for like art. Yeah. Type stuff. It's a better uh, town. Tech's better for, for date rape. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's probably true. <laughs> I um, assume. There's the mask you were looking for. That's a nice mask. Solid mask, right? Did you ever watch Lucha Libre? Yeah, yeah. That was a good show, dude. The, yeah. the WB. Yeah, yeah. Lucha Libre's nice. That's all. That's Lince Dorado. There, that's his name. He looks like a tough, look like a tough guy. He sure is. He, uh... He sure is. But yeah, it was fun. It was a fun New Year's. Um, not too much to report. Some drunk old people boosting my confidence. That's pretty nice. That's always good. Old people give, you know, dish out really good compliments usually. They do, yeah. I guess they have more experience at it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you have 60 years of compliment giving <laughs> yeah. experience. That's true, yeah. I'm rocking like probably 15 years. You know yeah, I, mean? I wasn't giving too many compliments out when I was younger. Yeah, when I was four, probably. I wasn't passing out the compliments. <laughs> yeah. It's weird. You're not passing out the compliments, but you're, like, more impressed when you're a child. Yeah, and you're, you're definitely mean? getting them because, like, kids, people love kids. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird how it's, like... Unless you're an ugly child. It's kind of weird how it's, like, socially acceptable for, like, groups to, like, talk about people out loud... Or talk about kids out loud. You know what I mean? Like, you're with, like, a group, like, you're, like getting some kfc after church yeah and they're just like that is a cute kid you know what i mean yeah but it's like if a dude just walks by it's like very handsome man right there (laughs) because you know the kid can hear it yeah 
It's like very handsome child. Right handsome there. child. One of the best. Yeah. It's not socially acceptable for just like one dude though. Like one dude with his yeah. buddy, just like dude, pretty cute. That's a nice kid. That's a that's a great <laughs> just boy. Just like some bros, like yeah. out. It's like that guy's got a really good looking kid. It's one of the best boys I've seen. Yeah, I guess it's only socially acceptable for like middle aged people to talk about kids. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because there's a tipping point too. It's like middle aged. If it's too old, it's weird. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. If the person talking about the kid's too old. Yeah. I mean, hot. it's like, it's like I guess it's fine if, like, you're complimenting somebody's family, but if you're, like, complimenting one person, <laughs> yeah, like, at a certain age. That's weird. There's power in numbers, I guess, because you totally can be, like, great-looking family. That's a nice... <laughs> yeah. That's a nice family, but, yeah, you can't. It's a great sister. Yeah. It's just, like, <laughs> very... <laughs> you got a nice-looking sister That's a you. That's a top-shelf <laughs> sister. Son? Yeah. It's like one of your dad's like coworkers complimenting your sister. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <or> something. <laughs> exactly. I guess. I don't know. You want to get into Noah's Ark? Let's do it. All right. This is this is what we teased earlier in the show. Where um, it's a new segment. I've been trying. I don't know if the dog picked up on the mics. I heard the dog. Definitely heard it, but I don't know if the the listeners heard it. I want to say listeners, not fans. I don't know if I have fans. People if that someone is listening, more they like people that casually drop in and yeah. listen. If someone's listening, they are a listener. If you're listening this far, but I think thank you. That's true. <laughs> I think yeah, well, I'll, I'll do Noah's Ark as the tease for the episode. Yeah, but I think I think the word fan gets lost on some people where the uh, people are like, yeah, I'm a fan. Right. It's like fan is short for fanatic. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? I don't think there's anyone that's a Paige Campbell fanatic. Yeah. I Am mean, I, I guess like you can be a casual fan, but a casual fanatic. But yeah, that does that <laughs> sort of sounds like an oxymoron. Yeah. Like, like either you're a fan or you're like, I don't know, you're not. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Either you're fanatical about something or you are. Yeah. Or you yeah. enjoy it. Yeah. Like yeah. I it's like I enjoy it. it. It's nice. Yeah. A casual fan. That's weird. That's a weird term. I've, I mean, I've heard it, but it's definitely when you think about it, it's sort of an oxymoron. Yeah. So, like I said, New Year's resolution, want to pod more, right? Yeah. Um, been trying to think of new, s- some new exciting segments. Some segments um, yeah. We did, so I was trying to think of segments for everyone who's a regular on the pod, Yeah. right? So, we, we have, have... We've got Nick Picks. Nick, Nick, or Nick Clips. Nick Clips, sorry. Yeah, no, no, it's fine. We're, I think the original idea was... Because I'm not much of a fan of the show. Yeah, I know. I think the original idea was Nick picks but then we were like it's we not were doing it's video, audio yeah. so more of an audio um so yeah we got yeah. nick clips um i've been trying to think of some other games there there was an idea i had tell me if you like this idea the game idea is perfect pitch and Nino. uh-huh <laughs> so i kind of think of, of names and then work backwards right <laughs> yeah i mean that's that's a good way to so the idea is perfect pitch and Nino. we got to get a couple people in here and nick's got to be on for this one yeah but uh we Nick's not always going to be able to be on the show. Yeah. We don't we don't know what the future holds. Right. We might not live in the same area. Yeah. So the idea Anything is can happen. we need a replacement for Nick. Okay? Okay. So everyone, I'm going to give everyone scenarios. I'll come up with the scenarios. I'm going to give everyone scenarios and you have to in your best Nick impression handle that scenario the way <laughs> the way Nick would handle it. That's pretty solid. Perfect picture Nina. And then what does Nick rate? Uh, rate this, the yeah, scenarios. Nick. Nick, that's a good idea. He's Nick, the judge. Nick picks the perfect Pigeonino, the perfect uh, Pigeonino <laughs> replacement. <laughs> that's pretty solid. Yeah. So you can help me come up with some other game ideas. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking, like I said, name work backwards. Right. I got a game called In My Mind. It's not even a game. That's a title. <laughs> More of a title than a, uh, anything. F- for the Winston. Okay. Yeah. So we got to think of a way to go for the. Yeah, Winston. we can figure that one out. <laughs> yeah. But I mean that could work for anything. Just come what? up with a random game for Winston. That's true. Just yeah. call it for the Winston. For the Winston, yeah. He just needs to have a segment. So the other new segment, other than Noah's Ark, the other new segment uh, I was thinking is called Reading of the Will. Yeah. And <laughs> so the game is I have three or four people on. My brother Will. Right. Uh, he brings on three or four items that he's leaving to everyone at the table. <laughs> But he doesn't say who he's leaving each item to. And we have to guess. And he has logic for why he's leaving the items. Mm-hmm. We have to guess 
which item is going to which person, we have to try to think on the same wavelength as well. That could be fun. Reading of the will. Does he describe, like, why? Like, does he describe his motives? Okay, afterwards. But we have to guess. I'm saying we have to try to get in Will's brain and be like, why okay. did he leave Noah a toothbrush? Yeah, I could get into that. You know what I mean? <laughs> why did that. Will believe that he needed to leave his prized <laughs> toothbrush to Noah? I don't know. I want that toothbrush. Yeah. So it's reading of the will. But today's new segment... Everyone knows Nick Clips. I'm not describing Nick yeah. Clips. We played St. Nick's Clips on the Christmas pod. Oh, you did? Yeah. I didn't listen that far. We called it St. Nick's Clips. That's nice. I think it's how we ended. That's clever. Yeah. St. Nick. Just I'm trying over here. <laughs> Wish I was on that episode. And there's pages, believe it or not. That's a which good is <laughs> that's throwback. It's well game. established. We haven't played that in a while. Yeah, it's a good one. The new segment is Noah's Ark. Noah's Ark. So everyone gets the reference. Right. It's a Bible reference, if you folks. Don't know it, get out of here. If you don't know it, uh, you need to read up on your uh, <laughs> yeah. Old Testament. Look it up. I, what, where Google is Bible. the story of Noah's Ark? Is it Leviticus? I think it's in Genesis. Is it Genesis? I believe it is. Maybe Exodus. It's it later. Might, it, it might, might spill be. over in exi- into Exodus. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those first five. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, read the story of Noah's Ark. I recommend it. Classic story. Watch even the if movie. If you, even if you're not big on God... <laughs> a fine story it's a good story i mean yeah. w- the movie that came out a couple years ago strange odd movie i don't remember big monsters in the bible yeah i think that was another but it would have made it so very nice <laughs> someone else's bible yeah they, they revised it to <laughs> to get to get a new target audience yeah. so noah's ark obviously <laughs> noah That's my uh, name. i don't know his last name no <laughs> you this is noah clark noah's yeah. clark noah's clark <laughs> <laughs> but noah in the bible he has to get two of every type of animal on his ark. Yeah. So he's a big animal boy. He likes his animals. He likes his animals. So Noah is going to read me some animal facts. These are all about the same animal. Mm-hmm. Correct? Correct. Yeah. I've picked two animals. Okay. So we'll do d- two rounds. Yeah. Two rounds. Okay. And I think two facts for each animal. So okay. We're yeah. Keeping sounds the, good. The theme of two here. So he's reading facts. These are going to be pretty ambiguous facts. I don't know what animal these are about. And I got a i got to guess the facts. It's going to be tough. That's why I like giving people segments, too, is because uh, it puts me in the hot seat a little yeah. bit. I, f- I feel like I'm always... Uh, turn turn I'm the always, tables on the host. I'm always running the game. Yeah. Put me in the hot seat a little bit. Now, I picked a uh, what might be an easy animal and what might be a difficult animal. That's good. Okay, so we'll work um, up to... First one's pretty common. Difficile. I guess. But even, even an easy animal, like a giraffe... If the fact is about the giraffe's toenail... Yeah. There can be some pretty weird I'm not going to know what we're talking there, about. Yeah. <laughs> so this is Noah's Ark, because if anyone would know about these animals, it would be Noah. <laughs> it would be Noah. Yeah. All right. Here's the uh, the first few facts, first animal, coming from a website called sciencekids.com. So let me see if we can do it like this. Read the first fact, and let me... Just let the wheels turn. A let bit. it process. All yeah. Right. And then be like, okay, what's the next one? All right. Um, let me find like a list here. And I had two picked out. I'm trying to remember. Because the first one's kind of a giveaway. Okay. Yeah. We don't want facts that give it away. It's like this animal has uh, black and white stripes. It's like, <laughs> no, that's not really in the. <laughs> yeah. That's not It really looks like a horse <laughs> and it's got black and white stripes. <laughs> it's like, well, <laughs> that's not really in the spirit of the game that we're trying but um okay um this animal has um powerful night vision okay and it can see uh at light levels six times lower than what a human needs in order to see wow which is pretty impressive um (laughs) so from from that fact from that uh fact I'm I'm gonna gain that this is in the cat family. This animal is in. It's related to cats somehow. I don't know if this is a lion or a tiger mm-hmm. or even a Bengal tiger. Yeah, but that's my that's where I'm kind of working with. It's pretty good. Uh, <coughs> pretty good, good start here. Okay. Okay. I'll give you this next uh, hint. Yes. This next fact, and you'll probably guess it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and say you're on the right track. Okay, I appreciate it. Uh, okay, a group of this animal is called a clouder. A male is called a tom, and da- a female is called a molly. Okay, a David Clowder. Uh, <laughs> David Clowder band. A tom. So is a, a tom cat. 
Um, is it just a house cat? Yep. It's a house cat? That's the one. Boom. <laughs> I am guess. the champion of Noah's Ark so far. Uh, pretty uncontested. Yeah. Undisputed champ. Now, this next one may be impossible okay. for you to guess. Um, I, I, I just like that disclaimer. This one's impossible. <laughs> so uh, it's going to be very difficult. Okay, cool. Like, unless you know these somehow. I Like, I wouldn't know these. I uh, mean, I probably won't. This animal has three hearts. <laughs> for fact. Okay, I think I... I don't know the animal, but I do recall hearing about an animal that has three hearts, but I don't know what it is. Um, my my guess right now, without hearing the second fact, it's in the dinosaur family. It's not. <laughs> uh, since this one's really hard, I see. I picked three facts because one of them was pretty interesting. I'm gonna give you one that's a little bit might help you out. Okay, sure. Uh, this animal has blue blood. And and the reason Do you is mean, like, physically blue blood. Yeah, or like he's rich. Like uh, it's just blue. Which actually, I thought human blood was blue until it reached the air. That's always a myth. That yeah, were like like when you're like a your kid. veins are blue. Yeah, but this animal has straight up blue blood. He actually has blue blood. Um, c- dude, I didn't know that. I didn't know that any animal had blood other than red. And That's kooky. The reason is. Um, Let's see. It, it it evolved a copper rather than iron based blood. So human blood is iron based, right? Or red. But blood if it's copper, it's wouldn't it be green? <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't it be copper or orange? Yeah, wouldn't it be <laughs> like our pennies? Yeah. Uh, That's uh, wow. Yeah, I so it's copper I didn't based. Know there was blood other than red blood, in, except for in like Mass Effect. Yeah. Again. <laughs> it's copper based blood, which um, is efficient at transporting. Oxygen more more efficient than uh, transporting oxygen than hemoglobin, which is found in you know, so that's why there's three hearts. Is when because the blood is different. I guess so. That makes sense. I, um, I, I guess I, I'm just <laughs> I'm guessing here. I don't know much. I'm about not a science. Nat Geo, not much of a Nat Geo boy myself. But when wa- when water temperature is very low and there's not much oxygen around, the the copper in the blood helps transport oxygen. Okay. So a little hint: this animal lives in the water. Okay, sure, sure. Are those the two facts? Three hearts, blue blood. Three hearts, blue blood. Ugh. Pretty okay, tough. so it's in the water. Um, since there's three hearts, I'm going to go big. I'm going to guess big, and I'm going to say whale. It's not a whale. Not a whale. Pretty good guess. I mean, okay. not, I mean you're not close. Okay, well. It's a good guess as far as the, as far as the, size. the size thing. I mean, narwhal? Is it a narwhal? I mean, it's not. A, I mean, I should rephrase that. It's not a large animal. Oh, oh it's not. I mean, wow. I guess it could be. But I just think three hearts. It's got to be big. That's how I was <laughs> basing my guess. Yeah. I mean, I was complimenting you on your guess because, like, it's good logic. It's good logic. Yeah. But it's not right. No. <laughs> well, uh, uh, it's an octopus. Really? Yeah. Octopuses have blue blood. Blue blood and three hearts. Wow, that's, that's two. A- two of the hearts work to move blood beyond its gills. And the third keeps circulation flowing. Dude, that's a uh, that's kooky. <laughs> this is pretty wild. I like I like this game. I have a slight phobia of octopuses. Fun. Do you really? Why? Me. You couldn't live in Japan. I mean, I'm not a f- not afraid of them per se. Okay. I in- definitely enjoy some uh, octopus sashimi every now and then. Yeah. I mean, if you don't like them, then eating them would just add up. It's like, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. that's the final. Uh, that's my defense mechanism. Insult to injury. It's my defense mechanism yeah. against octopus. I don't know. I just find them uh, about as equally terrifying as spiders. <sighs> I mean, in in my opinion, they're definitely not as creepy as spiders. If you found an octopus just on your floor, like squirming around, <laughs> would you not freak out? I would love that. <laughs> I'd slice them open and get some of that blue blood. Yeah, that would be. <laughs> that's delicious. <laughs> yeah. That's kooky, though. Pretty wild. They are pretty. Like, you hear facts about them. They're more aggressive than you think. Yeah. Like, you hear about them, like, sucking. And they're, like, really smart. Sucking with their... uh, Are they smart? They're, like... they're like. I think that was another one of the facts was something about their brains. (laughs) They're very smart. (laughs) They're very smart. It's like, well... Commend them on... Dolphins? (laughs) They got great all A's. (laughs) All A's. Um, but no, yeah, they're octopuses like, don't go to school. Only fish go to school. Nice school of fish. Hi, folks. 
But yeah, apparently octopuses are pretty smart. And the plural of octopus is octopuses. That was another fact, but if I had read that one... That would have been a giveaway. It would have given it away. Dude, that's kooky. I didn't know that, um... I didn't know that about octopuses. Yeah. I also didn't know that you were scared of... I'm not... I don't know. It's a fear. Yeah. You don't want someone thinking that it's a phobia. I mean, it's just like... Like, I... Like... It's more of like when I see a video of one, I get a, like an unsettling feeling. Okay, interesting. But then I'm just that's like, how I am with but spiders. then I'm just like, ah, it's all right. I hear a spider and I'm like, yeah. yeah it's the same thing as, a f- like, you're not actually afraid of a spider. Yeah. You just cringe. I cringe, yeah. Like, you'll kill a spider. I will. So I'm not actually afraid of a spider. You're right. I'll kill a spider. But I, I can't. I don't fuck with tarantulas. Oh, yeah. Like, tarantulas. Forget that. Yeah. Like, I see. Like you watch Lord of the Rings and you see the giant spider. Those big old spiders. Count me out. Giant spider. I feel like everyone in their life has a gun to the head moment. Giant spider for me is a gun to the head moment. Yeah. I am. I am blowing my brains out before I, a giant spider touches. Yeah, me. Yeah. I. I would probably have to agree with that. Do you understand that? <laughs> no. Well, and it doesn't even have to be that giant. Like if it's bigger than me. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> yeah. I mean, let me let me roll this your way. Gi- What's scarier to you, giant spider or giant squid? Probably a giant spider. Yeah, I mean, come on. I mean, giant squid is kind of dope, actually. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. The, like, yeah. Let's get cracking. Nice. <laughs> um, yeah, giant squids are terrifying. Pretty scary. Wait, no, giant spiders are terrifying. Giant spiders are very scary. I can't deal. I can't. If a spider was bigger than my shoe, I would. I would probably put a gun to my head. That's probably, like, people say their biggest fear is death, or, like, their biggest fear is, like, public speaking. Obviously, public speaking is not my biggest fear. Right. But. <laughs> you do it a lot. I do do it a lot. Uh, I, it's an irrational fear. My biggest fears, fear is probably giant spiders. Yeah. Like, I'm not, yeah. like, I don't know what I need to do with that information, but, like, honestly, that's what I'm afraid of the most, yeah. is that, there will be a mutation somehow and spiders will become large, just larger huge, than just, average. Yeah. I'm talking skyscraper, sky s- spiders. Now at that point, if they were like building size, I think that would be kind of cool. I disagree. Like, I, I still think it would be scary. What's cool in that scenario? I don't know. It's just like, I don't know. It's just kind of, <laughs> kind of cool. Dude, like they're, they're going to, they're going to giant their, monsters. Dude, gonna, the, the, uh, Trump tower is going to have little, a baby egg sacs on it and they're gonna crunch open and there's gonna be all these tiny little giant spiders it would still be terrifying yeah it'd be awful but it's have you ever seen that same time. Uh, little sack opens and a bunch, oh, yeah. a bunch of them run out i've seen that happen in in real life yeah, have uh, you in front of my eyes what's this story i was at a uh like a a camp like a like a work mission camp thing sure and uh there was a kid and uh he pointed out a spider to me I was like, yeah, let me kill it. And I noticed that it had uh, like a bulbous back. Oh, I was like, ooh, geez. I'm thinking this ba- this this spider's carrying its its young. And uh, we kind of stepped on it lightly, and then just a bunch of spiders came out, like smaller spiders Dude, that's came out. the worst thing of all time. Uh, yeah. Like that, okay. It's, it's I, I said, horrific. I said giant spider is gun to the head moment for me. <laughs> that's also a gun to the head moment just, for me. The scariest part of... Uh, of um, a Texas Chainsaw Massacre was that nest of spiders early on in the movie. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Do you true. remember that scene? Actually, because the rest was just dope. When they get to the house, there's just like a nest I, of spiders. Okay, it would be awful, but I would take being butchered by like a guy like Leatherface over a giant spider. <laughs> yeah. Over a giant Definitely. spider putting his stinger in me <laughs> Yeah, and wrapping me up with his... In his web. With his web. In his cobweb. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah. At least, at least Leatherface has two eyes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Can't deal with eight eyes. He has a minimal amount of eyes and a regular <laughs> amount of appendages. Yeah. <sighs> well, that's it, folks. We did it, Noah. Good note to end on. It's a good pod. It's a pretty good episode. I think that's a good. Uh, are you pulling up music? I'll find some some end theme. Okay. Unless you have something. I was just gonna play a ringtone. <laughs> but uh, was which Presto is Presto a good one? Nope. <laughs> Presto is not a good one. Not the best. It could work. We gotta find a good one. <laughs> the shows always trail off. 
Yeah. It's always like a good episode. Uh, it's always like a good show, and then like the last four it's like minutes an ending are like, point, and then yeah. We gotta find some music. You wanna <laughs> find some? <laughs> All right, I found it. Um, <laughs> so that's the show, folks. Uh, I found some music, so we're gonna get out of here. Uh, if you like what we did, you can follow me on Twitter at Uncle Page. You can get updates about new episodes. You can get jokes. And you can get uh, updates about stand-up shows. Come see a stand-up show sometime if you're out there listening and you're in Virginia or in the surrounding areas. Sometimes I'm in, like, North Carolina. There's some states around, yeah. Yeah. You were in West Virginia. I was in West Virginia, yeah. Uh, You can follow Noah on Twitter if you want. Feel free. (laughs) You don't update on a regular basis. Feel free, too. If you are a fanatic... If you are a Paige Campbell show <laughs> yeah. fanatic and you need to follow the whole crew, get all the latest. Tweet at him and be like, I need more <laughs> yeah. Noah's Ark. I almost resolved to make my Twitter presence stronger, but then I was like, nah, I, there's no need. I won't keep up with it. Yeah, there's no need. Uh, like, I, I honestly only have a good Twitter presence because I'm trying to be a successful comic. Yeah, I would only be doing it for my sake. Yeah. <laughs> Just to, to amuse myself. Honestly, I'm not crazy about social media. Like, if, I, if I wasn't trying to gain a following. If anything, I should be on it less. Yeah, there you go. For the new year. You can just lurk. Yeah, that's just what watch, I usually do. Watch other people's tweets. I don't post. Yeah, I appreciate the likes, buddy. Yeah. I like a nice like. I enjoy your tweets. Thank you. Thank you. So, folks, follow him. Follow. Adam <laughs> Give him a follow. Uh, you can, uh, on this video, like the video. That helps uh, a little bit. Bring it in the ad revenue. Some people have been disliking. I don't appreciate really? that. Really? There's some dislikes? There's been, like, one... Di- there's been... I think it's the same dude. There's Probably been Nick. one dislike consistently on the last two or three episodes. Probably Nick. It might be, dude. It might be Nick. <laughs> it's really Nick, and I don't appreciate that if it is. But uh, you know, it does help out if we get enough. We don't. Yeah. Get, we don't get a lot, but uh, it does help where it show. It, it helps it be a recommended video. It's nice too. Um, a like and subscribe. I need some subscribers, folks. Got to break twenty. Yeah. If you're, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's break twenty for the new year. The resolution. Except seventeen is good for twenty seventeen. Yeah, it's true. Twenty seventeen. Don't follow, folks. I need <laughs> to keep it at seventeen. <laughs> Please follow. Uh, and if you're on iTunes, leave a review. Reviews help it. Help. Some stars. <laughs> it's the, well, it's the same thing with likes. Yeah. It gets helps it, it show up on it's recommendations. Gets the name out. Yeah. Leave a good review. Don't leave a review if it's going to be. Yeah. Uh, don't be negative. Don't be negative. I don't. Be hateful. I don't need that. Um. But people who would leave a negative review probably haven't made it this far, so <laughs> yeah, I'm not too worried about it. They haven't made it far in any aspect. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So that's the show, folks. Thank you for listening. I love you. I'm going to try to get more of these out for you if you do enjoy them. Thank you. Have a good new year. <laughs>